What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. Okay, so, we did a thing. Yes, we finally got the Sapphire from uh, a Team Rocket member, scientist, or whatever his name is. And now it is finally time for us to go to the final island of this whole exploration right here, and that is Seven Island. We're gonna be, uh, yeah, we're gonna be speeding through a lot of these things, guys, because, well, you know... It is what it is. We got a lot of trainers, a lot of battles to get through, and, uh, well, there is something, too. I brought back the old gang. Let's take a look at that. The old gang is back. And what is going to happen now is that, you know, we're, uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be battling, uh, everybody with the old gang. We're gonna get through it and all that crud. And, uh, what else, what else, what else? Yeah, we're on the final stretch right here of our, of our walkthrough, believe it or not, guys. Um, we have done everything, and Seven Island is just, uh, well, it is an optional island to go to, but the other thing, too, there are there are some pretty rare Pokemon that you can actually find right here, and, uh, well, let's see, first is first, let's introduce this part. So, the trainer tower is going to be up here, and somewhere on this island, a peculiar Pokemon are sleeping. She is, talking, she is talking about the unknown that lives south of this uh, this seven islands. So, here we are taking on Psychic Rodent, and we're going to be battling. Yes, sir. Okay, so Body Slam. And there we go. Drowsy's coming out. So, let's go with Smoke right here. It has been a while. So, there we go. And coming out with another Hypno. So, there we go. Yes, we're not doing good right now. And just like that, we get beat. <laughs> yeah. Probably should have came in with these Pokemon, and Tornado has grown to level 56. And yes, we are an amazing trainer. Mm hmm. Okay, so let's go right ahead and battle some more trainers. I sensed your approach. We got a lot of psychic Pokemon here, or a lot of psychic trainers. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on uh, Dario, or whatever his name is. He does have himself a giraffe rig. And as far as I'm concerned, I did find out that Drafter does have an evolution in the next iteration of the Pokemon games, which is pretty cool. Still gonna... well, I still need to figure that one out. But now, if you surf right here, guys, you're gonna be going into the Trainer Tower. Now, if you guys don't know what the Trainer Tower is, it is basically a precursor to the... Uh, what was it? The Battle Frontier. If you guys take a look right here... It does have quite a few, uh, quite a few games: single battle, double battle, knockout phase, and mixed phase. And the way this rolls is that yes, you have to battle quite a few trainers in a certain amount of time. Obviously, the strongest Pokemon that you have ever, like ever captured, will be the the peak of these Pokemon trainers is leveling two. Let's just say if you got a level 70 Mewtwo. And nobody else is reaching that level in your in your particular you know capturings. They're gonna have level 70 Pokemon. I'm just saying. Now, I'm not really gonna be doing much into this place right here. I'm just saying this guy's like uh, the stairs are tough for any battle. So what we're gonna well actually I am I am gonna try something right here. Let's just go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and try out. Let's go ahead and try out the very first, uh, let's try it out for the first time. Yes, this is gonna be a long episode. So I've talked to this lady. Hello! Welcome to the train trail where trainers gather from all over. Trainers are waiting for the challenge at the 8th floor. Would you like to take the challenge awaiting trainers? Yes, let's go with a single battle. And I'll get the clock started and so you give it everything you have. Mark, get set, go! Here we go! Alright, so... We're going to be taking on some trainers. As you guys can see, there are some dots right there. And we're going to be starting off with Leonardo. And like I said, strongest Pokemon will be the same level as these people right here. Let's get with it right away. Okay, bring it. So here we are taking on Sailor Alberto, and he is coming out with a Feraligator, as you guys can see. Level 61, okay? So we're going to be speeding it up right here. I really don't care about the timing and all that stuff. I just want to do this, and wow, he's kicking our butt right here. So let's go with the Psychic. And, <laughs> well, okay, we're going to curse ourselves just to put this guy to sleep. And, well, let's go with Tornado. And fly away. And there we go. And here comes a Kangaskhan, level 61. And right now I'm getting my butt kicked. 
So we're gonna go right here. Seismic toss. Surf attack. And wow, we got our butts kicked. <laughs> All right, Earthquake, and just like that. Okay, so, as you guys can see, we didn't really fare too well, and, uh, yeah, we're gonna be wasting a lot of healing items right here. But, it is a time, it is a time game, and, uh, I'm only assuming that you get a prize at the very end. And, well, yeah, we're gonna be using a lot of these, uh, yeah, we, we should've bought, we should've been prepared for this, but, yeah, I'm just showing you guys the preview of what to do right here, so let's go right ahead and move on. So here's round number two, and this guy looks like a bug trainer, but yes, <laughs> he's not just going to have bug Pokemon. Okay, so here he has two Pokemon, and he's got himself a Beedrill. Let's go right ahead, Ice Beam this Pokemon, and obviously, wow, how in the heck? Okay, Psychic, Psychic, come on, there we go, he's coming out with a Yanma, so... Yanma right here is uh, always going to be the fastest Pokemon, and just like that, we have defeated this guy. So this is where, like, you really have to learn how to use super effective moves, guys, because holy crud baskets. And, well, let's see. I think the other thing, too, is that you can actually walk out, heal your Pokemon, and go back in, but that actually prolongs the amount of time that you're using, guys. So, let's see. Take on this guy. Let's have an explosion party. Okay, an explosion party. So, let's go with Jarrett, and he's coming out with a wheezing rain dance. And, obviously, I kind of help him out. Okay, so why am I not attacking? Holy crud. Alright. Thunder. Thunder again. He's coming out with an execute, so let's go pin missile. Pin missile. And... There we go, pin missile, come on, yeah, and there we go. Yeah, <laughs> man, I am uh, I am struggling in this whole thing. How many traders did we say we had to battle? Holy crud! Yeah, we, yeah. <laughs> All right, there we go, and let's move on. This is tree, and let's see, what do we got? Alrighty, <laughs> yeah, you're not going anywhere. Okay, so bring it on. Here we have another person, and. My question is, why wasn't I working? There we go. And he's coming out with a slow bro, so let's go with Shocker right here. Thunder. And Thunder again for the win. Okay, so that was easy. We didn't have to use much, so let's go right ahead. Go into the next one. This is Gym Battle number five, I should say. And let's see. My Pokemon are scary strong. Oh my god, we're getting to win it. Okay. And, oh yeah, if you guys have noticed, yes, we do not, we do not earn experience points as much as we want to. No, we don't. And we're coming out with, uh, Toros right here, so let's go to Superpower. And that's not gonna work. Body Slam does not work, and it gets poisoned, so... Let's go right ahead and Drill Peck this guy. And, well, Buttkiss, come on, you haven't battled. Let's go to Flamethrower, and just like that, we have defeated this guy. Okay, so, six revives, down to four, and it looks like to me, oh wow, yeah, we're, <laughs> wow, we are, we gotta use these, oh wow, okay, so we're gonna be down, we're gonna be, literally be down, how many levels did it say I was gonna be doing, six? Okay, here we go, we got a swimmer, so, <laughs> he's pretty happy with his toughness. Let's see what this is all about. And he's got two. Usually he's going to be the hardest one. And he's got himself a Dunsparce, okay? Don't let this Dunsparce fool you right here. And there we go. Politoed. So I may have screwed myself a little. But Politoed does tank a lot of moves. Look at this. Okay, so we got Thunder going and we win. Holy crud. Yes, I did shock you. Okay, so that was a... Uh... Oh, it's going to... Seven or eight floors? Holy crud! Okay! I am a thief, give me everything or something. Okay! Let's see how uh, good we can do right here. So we got a Meowth. Is this a shiny Meowth? I think that was a shiny Meowth. Alright. Okay, and... So we gotta switch out our Pokemon right here because this Meowth is fast. There we go. 
And this Pokemon will tank anything. Thunderbolt. Tank. Okay, so let's see. Hmm. Let's go with this guy. Superpower. And just like that, we win. Okay. So yeah, we have to be very strategic with what we do right here. Let's see. We're on the eighth level. One more left. Okay. Let's see. Come on, bring it on. I want something in return. Oh, what what do you want? Okay, so here we go. Taking on a breeder, and okay, this is wow, Togepi. Rain dance. And obviously it's gonna. Okay, so there we go. And oh, nearly defeat him. Oh, okay, so let's go with smoke, psychic attack, and just like that we win. That's not fair. <laughs> Oh my god, so here we reach the very end, and this guy right here is going to be like, Hello, I am the owner of this tower. How the sky soars above this root tower. The Karis uh, of winds up here. It's all so perfect. The way you battled, it's too was perfection. This is for you. And we get ourselves another upgrade. Oh, stupendous. It's marvelous how you came up here so quickly. The fact is that you've done it in record time. I'll have your record posted at the reception counter. What I like to see is a better time out of you. I'm counting on you. Until then, farewell. All right. So I want to see what the time was, especially with the. Uh, yeah, I want to see what the time is with what was it called? Uh, the speed button. Okay. So we've survived, guys, and <laughs> yeah, we're definitely gonna be buying a lot of healing items right here. So let's see. Record time. 44 minutes and 33 seconds on the speed button. Oh my god, okay. So, what's gonna happen next, guys, is we're gonna heal up our Pokemon, buy some healing items, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be going south of Seven Islands. So I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, guys, so here we are back, and well, now it's time to explore the other side of uh, Seven Island. And boy, do we have a lot to cover. A lot of Pokemon uh, trainers to take on and whatnot, and well, Let's see, not many people come out here. If I train here, I'm convinced that I'll get stronger and stronger. Yep, stronger and stronger. How would you like to learn the move like that? It's Swords Dance. Now, this is a very good move to actually have for your Pokemon if you want to boost up their physical attack by two levels. I'm actually going to keep that in the... Uh, or I'm actually going to wait for that one because eventually once we get to the Pokemon League, yeah, it's going to get something. So, here we are in the canyon entrance and... Uh, well, we're going to be finding some pretty cool Pokemon right here, including trainers. So, like I said, we're going to be speeding this up. Here comes a Blossom. And, well, Pin Missile right here helps us out. Let's continue with the Pin Missile, and obviously we're going to get paralyzed right here. So let's go ahead and do it again. And just like that, yes, we have defeated Mia. Or Maya. I don't even know. Okay. So, the Canyon Entrance gonna hold a lot of trainers there's gonna be a lot of uh, level 50 Pokemon trainers right here and well we're not really gonna battle any of these Pokemon right here they, there is one particular Pokemon that you can find in the Savault Canyon which I will be showing you guys a little bit later and well this guy <laughs> he has a fan club so let's go right ahead and speed this through and go with a flamethrower and he's coming out with a Pineco and, well, good thing I have Big Booty Bud Kiss ready to go and taking kick it some ass. And just like that, yes, I am not a fan of you. And, well, let's see. There is a particular spot right here, too, guys, where you can actually train your Pokemon and get them up to a very, very good level. On top of that, you can actually heal up your Pokemon right in that same location. I will be showing you guys... Uh, a little bit later on right here where how you can do this and well here we have uh, yeah a lot of uh, spread out Pokemon trainers right here so let's go ahead and speed this up and drill peck right here and he's coming out with a vitriol bell and just like that we win yet again okay and well let's go ahead and take on this lady punish people who abuse Pokemon hmm you don't say okay so here we go taking on another one of these trainers right here and she's coming out with a vile plume and just like that <laughs> defeated quickly tornado kicking butt taking names probably should have led with that and well let's see 
more Pokemon you can actually find. Centret right here. And here we have a lovely couple, so let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Smasher. Okay. Let's see. Uh, when I'm with Eve, it feels like we could never lose. Yeah, don't say. All right, here we go. Taking on the Rock Slide, and let's go with a... No, actually, let's go with the Shadow Ball right here. So there we go. Same thing, and just like that, we have defeated our opponents. Yes. Now, if you guys are thinking that you could serve, think again. The current is too fast to be served. I wonder what's on the other side of this island right here. And yes, you're going to be finding a lot of Sentrits and Meows. And it's probably a good idea to actually... Probably a good idea to, to put on a repel, but... Here we are in the Sevalt Canyon entrance. Trainers are asked to refrain from damaging plants in the canyon. Okay, here we are, Sevalt Canyon. Now, in this particular area, you will be able to find a very rare Pokemon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna speed through, and I'm gonna get to the part where I actually find this Pokemon. So I'll be right back with you guys. Well, would you look at that? There's one Pokemon that you can capture, and that is Fanfy. This Pokemon eventually evolves into Don Fan, and well, even though it's a pretty cool Pokemon to actually have, I do not. Well, this was not the Pokemon I was referring to, but it's always nice to find it. And, uh, well, here comes a Growl. Yeah, it's still not going to do anything, so let's go right ahead and continue throwing Ultra Balls at it. So let's see. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, damn it. Okay. So we're going to speed through and trying to capture this Pokemon, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alright. He's captured. Look at that! Fanfy, the long Pokemon, as a sign of affection, it pumps with its snout. However, it is so strong, it may send you flying. Oh wow, that's <laughs> that's a scary, that's a scary thing. Okay, so I'm gonna continue moving on right here, guys. I need to find the particular Pokemon that I'm talking about, so I'll be right back with you guys. Ha <laughs> ha! Would you look at that, guys? We have found another Pokemon that is of interest, and that is Skarmory. As many of you guys already know, I have, or I have captured Skarmory in my very first Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Called it Skyblade. It's a pretty cool Pokemon, and well, I'm gonna try and capture it, even though it's a very, very difficult Pokemon. As you guys can see, it's at level 30. You can find this Pokemon here at level 30. The majority of the Pokemon you can find in the Seval Canyon are ground-type Pokemon, but you'll, you know, every once in a while you'll be getting yourself a Persian or a Skarmory right here, and this guy is not letting me do anything, so let's go ahead and Steel Wing. Yeah, we're gonna physically hit this Pokemon as many times as we can, and look at that, it's not very effective, but that actually gets us to get this Pokemon right here, so here we go, Skarmory. You're gonna be mine. Although Skarmory is a pretty interesting, it's a pretty cool Pokemon to have itself, and well, let's go right ahead and do this again. Ultra Ball, come on, stay in the ball. Stay in the ball. Yes! Throwing out that peace sign. Look at that. Okay, so here we have our good old buddy Skarmory, the armor Pokemon. After nesting in bramble bushes, the wings of, the, of its chicks grow hard from scratches by thorns. And many of you guys already know, we bequeathed the name Skyblade. And I cannot wait to use this Pokemon right here because, well, it's been a long time, homie. It's been a long time, so say hello to Skyblade. I'll be right back with you guys. Well, would you look at that, guys. So here's the Pokemon we've been looking for. Larvitar. A very, very rare pseudo-legendary Pokemon. And, well, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to use Curse in order to lower this Pokemon's level down because, or its HP down because, well, yeah, we hit it with something, it's gonna faint, and well, it is a dark type Pokemon, and the curse is easily gonna just, you know, put its, uh, put its, uh, whatchamacallit away, so we're gonna have to try and capture this Pokemon as quickly as possible, because, well, shoot, nothing else happens, nothing else works, and here we go, throwing that Ultra Ball, yes, throwing out that peace sign. Look at that. I am throwing out that peace sign. Okay. So, here we have Larvitar, the rock Pokemon. It is born deep underground. It can't emerge until it has entirely consumed the soil around it. Now, yes, Larvitar 
is a very, very awesome Pokemon. But we all know that Gary likes to use the Pokemon itself, so we're not going to be using this guy on our team. If I had to take a name, I would have to name this Pokemon what? Dark Side or something. I don't even know. But yes, guys, this is where we can actually find Larvitar. So it's going straight to the PC. Alrighty. Right here, guys. Yes. Anywho, let's continue on. There is a tag team right here with a uh, normal type Pokemon that, well, yeah, it's going to be. It's going to be quite difficult to actually be. And actually, hold on. Maybe. Maybe. It would be better if we go with Shocker and our good old buddy. Uh, Leonardo. So, my darling Nia, together we can win. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and take on the cool couple Lex and Mia. And they will be coming out with both Miltank and Tauros right here. These two Pokemon. Yeah, the, these two Pokemon complement each other. Thing about Miltank at this level is that, yes, it does like to. Yeah, it does like to, uh, what was it, tank everything. And, well, let's go with a. A surf attack, and let's go with a thunderbolt right here. And well, let's see, ice beam right here, and thunder right there. Let's go. And good gravy, come on, just go down. Thunder. There we go. And well, seismic toss, and iron tail, and damn it, come on, just go down. Yeah, this Pokemon will not die. Uh. Yeah, there we go, finally. But yeah, th yet these people are easy, uh, not easy, but they are very good people to actually, you know, battle, get some experience points and all that stuff. But this is not the person I was telling you. And well, let's grab this, we found ourselves a nugget. And well, first things first, let's go right ahead and uh, heal up our Pokemon. Let's go with Leonardo and let's go right ahead and use a max repel right here and here we have a puzzle going into this cave and this is the Tenobi key if you guys solve this puzzle this will activate something that you know obviously is gonna work later on and well let's go right ahead and uh, screw this all up by pressing the wrong stuff so here we go going up right here and well, let's see right here and go that way and there we go let's go right here and there it is and now we got to push these guys back so that's another that's another one down this is the tricky part right here because many of you guys might think that if you just push these two right here it will actually get this but what you do need to do is uh, let's see spread these guys out push this one in and what needs to happen is it doesn't matter which well, whatever side you push it at guys it's just gonna work and BAM there we go and all we need to do now is press this guy right here go upstairs and there we go and there we go that's one and that is two and just like that, we have activated something. A mysterious rumble echoed somewhere far away. Hmm, you don't say. Okay, so... Let us move on right here. Now, we do have more trainers that we can actually battle. There is a... Well, there's a spot right here we can, we can use Rock Smash. And we got another trainer right here. So let's see. It doesn't matter if you happen to have the strongest Pokemon. It doesn't mean a thing if you don't know how to use them properly. Well... Yeah, okay. So here we go, digging on Ryan or uh, Tamer Evan, and he's gonna be coming out with a uh, Sand Slash. So let's go right ahead and speed this up. Surf Attack for the win. Coming out with a Lick of Tongue. Let's go with Smasher right here, and Super Power does its thing. And he's coming out with an Earth Ring. Now, my, my biggest beef is that they never really had a. Uh, yeah, they never really had a Pokemon uh, or an Earth Ring, or, you know, it's a Teddy Ursa around here. That would have been nice to actually find and have and, you know, use and whatnot. So, there we go. Defeated them. And we get ourselves a Max Elixir. And if you talk to this person, training my, by oneself is certainly not a bad thing. 
but it is also not a bad uh, bad to aim for the top of uh, with a partner. Even Bruno, he's trained with a fellow by the name of Brawlio before, and that right there you can actually find it on your fame your fame app or something. I work to protect the environment. In turn, the nature protects me. Does it really? Does it really find? Okay. So here we go, taking on Jackson, and he's going to be coming out with his Tangela, so let's go straight for the Ice Beam, and you know what, let's go with Big Booty Butt Kiss, and let's go with the Flamethrower, and let's go one more time, just like that, we have defeated Jackson. Okay, so here's the tough one, those shoes have plenty, or those, those shoes you have are pretty snazzy, yes they are, very snazzy. Let's go right ahead and take this person on, and yes, she does have one Pokemon, but this Pokemon here is very tough because it does have a crap ton of HP. So what we're going to do is we're going to power up our Pokemon so we can hit it, uh, well, we can actually hit it one time. And here comes its minimized attack, so this right here is going to be, it's going to be a little, well, this right here is going to be tough. And Surf Attack, Surf Attack, Surf Attack. Come on, stop healing yourself. There we go, Egg Bomb. There we go. As you can see, it is uh, very, very hard to actually hit. So let's go with the Rain Dance. And switch out our Pokemon right here. Thunder. 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 Come on! Good gravy, man. This guy will not go down. Okay, so... Let's go back. Pokemon is very difficult AF. And here we go, Thunder. 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 Come on! Damn it. Thunderbolt. Thunderbolt. Damn it. Okay. We're gonna beat you. Alrighty, so let's go with the Max Ether. Right here. Thunder. And, well, let's go... You know what? Screw it. Let's go with Smasher. And... Superpower. Superpower. Holy crap, baskets. Rock. Okay. Just go... Just die already, damn it! Damn it. Yeah, we're just like, you know, we're wasting powers away. Holy crud, okay. There we go, and that's how you defeat it. Holy crud. God damn Chansey. And Caitlyn has been defeated, yes. <laughs> Don't do as I do, guys. Use a fighting type Pokemon, and well, here we go. Taking on another one. She's saying her conditioning is top form. Alrighty. So here we go, taking on Crush Girl Cindy. And she is coming out with her Prime Ape, so let's go straight with the speeding up. And well, coming out with a Hitmon Top, first time for everything. And let's go with Tornado right here. So let's go with Agility, Drill Peck, and keep it going right here. And just like that, we had defeated Crush Girl. How about that? Okay, so the mess of part is that we do not have Rock Smash on any Pokemon right here, so we're gonna have to wait on that item. And lo and behold, here is the area where you can actually battle these trainers. Now, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to heal up my Pokemon by doing a little dance. Look at that. Dance, dance! Chancy dance. You you join in too! Dance, dance! Yes, I will uh, I will dance. And, well, there we go. Look at that. We're twirling around. And just like that, bam. <laughs> there! You're a chipper now! Okay, and you can grab this Pokeball right here, and you can find yourself a Lucky Punch. That right there is uh, f for only Chanseys. And let's see what we got. Let's see. A glove held by a Chansey, it raises Chansey's critical hit ratio, which is pretty good. Now, this is the spot that I was talking about, guys. These two trainers here have five Pokemon each, and... You know, the more you battle them, the, the Pokemon will increase, I think, one more time. And I think they will have some Pokemon that are, will be fully evolved. But if you use the VS Seeker and put the experience here on one of your Pokemon and keep on training that Pokemon, you know, battling that one Pokemon with all these guys' uh, teams, it will get you to level 75 real quickly. Because that, that, that's, that's kind of something that I like to do before the Pokemon League. So I will be spending a lot of time right here. So let's go right ahead and battle this Pokemon Trainer. So she's like, I was given the best possible education to become this strong. I don't want to lose to anyone. Okay. Alrighty. So, here is Cool Trainer Michelle, five Pokemon. 
And there we go. We're going to start off with the Persian. Let's go with the Surf Attack. Coming out with a Dugong. Here we go with Shocker. And look at that. Level 58. Coming out with the, you know, Nine Tails. Here we go. Surf Attack. Rapidash. There we go. And here comes a Giraffe Rig. So there we go again. And Tornado has grown to level 59. Alrighty. So five Pokemon right there, guys. You can use your experience share, and your Pokemon will get a crap load of experience points. And well, here we go with Leroy. This guy does have a ride on. Eventually, when your Pokemon start getting stronger and stronger, type disadvantages do don't really like matter anymore, just because well, you know, your Pokemon's getting strong. And well, here we go again. And here comes a Kangaskhan. And. Good gravy. Okay, so this Pokemon, that's probably its Achilles heel right there. And just like that, we defeated this guy. Let's go straight for smoke. And just like that, bam. Okay. Alrighty. So, that was that. I'm going to heal up my Pokemon real quick. And uh, we're going to take care of business going into the last portion of Seven Island right here. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Whew. Okay, so... We're going to do this whole concept of uh, level grinding. So I have put the experience share on Leonardo, and I'm going to battle this, well, these two trainers with just Leonardo. So let's go ahead and start it off right here with this lady. She's going to be saying the same thing, yada, yada, yada. Let's go right ahead and battle all five of her Pokemon. As you guys can see, her Pokemon have leveled up just a little bit now, and... Well, we're going to be taking on Dugong with the same kind of Pokemon right here. And there we go. There's level 62. Coming out with a Ninetales. Surf Attack. There we go. Rapidash. Surf Attack. And a Giraffe Rig. And there we go. So as you guys can see, it got, you know, its levels are right up there. It's normally going to it's normally going to gain one or two levels if you're in the level 60s area and that's where this is the this is the spot where you really have to grind it out so here we go with round two and just like uh, the last just like the last uh, cool trainer her, this guy's Pokemon will will grow levels two and here comes this slow bro so what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be doing a lot of uh, seismic tosses right here and well he's coming out with the Ursarang and BAM level 63 here comes a Kangaskhan yet again and he's now got a Machamp, and this one right here, bam. So there's two levels right there, experience share and all. Again, this will try it. Well, this this like for a level Pokemon that's at level 60, your Pokemon or your Pokemon are bound to get to like two levels each time you battle these two trainers right here. Level 50s or you know level 40s, you know you'll get you'll get them up to like at least two or three levels until you finally can actually use them for yourselves. So, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon yet again, and uh, yeah, we'll take care of everything on the bottom part right here, so I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty, so let's go right ahead and finish off this episode. I know you guys have been wanting to see this, but here we are in the Tenobi Ruins, and this particular spot right here will have some trainers, but there will be a lot of ruins going around here. And as many of you guys already know, the sleeping Pokemon that you will be able to find around here are unknown. And uh, no, there are no, <laughs> there is literally no unknown Dexes around here. So let's go right ahead and see right here. So here we are in the Viapoi, the Viapoi chamber. And I couldn't tell you this, guys. I couldn't tell you anything. But if you guys have the information to what unknowns go to where... That would be great. Comment down below. That way I can pin them right here. And it will be greatly appreciated and all that crud. So let's, uh, let's see right here. There's nothing. Obviously, I'm going to island to island and actually take a look and, you know, see if we can actually get, like, items or something. Here we are in the Rixie chamber. Again, looks the same. Um, hmm. I'm kind of thinking that when my Max Repel wears out, I'm going to, you know, get these Pokemon. And well, let's see. Let's go right here. There's a Pokemon trainer. So let's go ahead and battle him. Do you know anything about this stone chamber? I do not know. Alrighty. Bring it. So here we go, taking on Brandon, and he's coming out with a an Onyx. So let's go straight for a surf attack. And yes, that was uncalled for. 
And, well, let's see. There's no item right there. And coming up right here. And here we have in the Scoofib Island, or Scoofib Chamber. And, well, a repel has worn off. So we're going to encounter a Pokemon right now. As you guys can see, here we found ourselves in Unknown. They're always going to be at level 25. Their moveset, very, very simple. You know, Hidden Power. And, you know, the math going into Hidden Power is just... It's, it's, it's kind of crazy. It really is. Again, if you guys have all this information, please comment down below. You guys are more than welcome to. And, well, here we have nothing. Again, I'm looking at these stones. And here we are going to go into... Mm, the Dilford Chamber. And, well, there's really nothing right here. I mean, every single one of these chambers look the same, but you will be finding some different kinds of unknowns, as you guys can see right here. This is Unknown J. I really am not going to try, uh... I'm really not going to waste my time to try and capture these Pokemon right here, because, well, you know, there's no unknown, unknown decks or anything like that. Now, my biggest beef with the, this whole thing right here is that, you know, alongside with the Lost Cave, is that, you know, they there was, like, there's a lot of missed opportunities. A lot of missed opportunities. It kind of just, you know, yeah. They, they could have put, like, a legendary Pokemon here and there, like legendary birds from Johto. I don't know. But, like I said, it, it, they, kind of, uh, they kind of dropped the ball on that one right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue battling right here. And there we go. Clifford has been defeated. And let's see. Take on this guy. And yes, Clifford is trying to teach her. So let's go ahead and battle. And this is a Smurgle. Okay, Smurgle. And there we go. We have defeated Smurgle. Okay, so let's see. Nothing right here. And here we are in the Weep the Weep chamber. Chamber. And like I said, there's really nothing you can find. Look at this. Yeah. Pretty much the same. And I believe this is Unknown Z? Or N? Isn't Z kind of like a reverse uh, N? I don't know. <laughs> a reverse N or something like that. I don't even know, guys. I'm just making jokes as I go along. And here we go with another one. The same one. And... Well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. I think we still got more trainers to actually battle. I don't know. Like I said, they really dropped the ball on on uh, putting some legendary Pokemon in here. I think we're going to go towards the very end right here. Yeah, okay, so I don't know. Let's see. There's nothing right here. And yeah, here we have the Lip 2 Chamber. And well, let's see what kind of unknown do we have. This is Unknown D. Huh. Okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. Nothing right there. Let's go back down. And let's go straight into what I call the Grand Chamber because, well, <laughs> it looks like a Grand Chamber. Kind of like in uh, the Super Mario Bro games where once you reach the, the fourth uh, castle, it's probably the big castle where King Koopa or Belger, wherever he is, you know, is at. And we got one more guy right here. He's like, a Mystic Pokemon is set to sleep inside here. Okay, so my question is... Is the Mystic Pokemon uh, the unknown, or is it the the roaming Pokemon? I want to know about that. I don't, <laughs> it's kind of a it's kind of a weird thing, but there it is, guys. We have defeated this guy, and who's next? The Grand Chamber, the Manu the Man Monian, the Monian Chamber. So here we are in the Monian Chamber. Again, they dropped the ball on this one here, too, because, you know, who knows what you can actually find in this one. I don't know if this was supposed to be used as an event, but yes, you got it. And here you're going to be finding yourself Unknown A, and oh, I'm going to be running away because, uh, yeah, that's really nothing right there. Anywho, I think that's pretty much it right there, guys. I know, that's kind of boring towards the very end. Very anticlimactic. But, I think we've managed to do everything right here, guys. Anywho, in the next episode, well, in the next two episodes, we're going to be legendary capturing. First one on our list is going to be the roaming Pokemon that has been assigned to us. Remember, whatever your starter is, 
the roaming Pokemon, it will dictate what roaming Pokemon you're going to be getting towards the very end. Uh, since I got a water type Pokemon, the roaming Pokemon that I am assigned to is Raikou, or Raikou, or I don't even know. But yes, we're going to be finding one of those legendary Pokemon. So, what's going to happen in the next episode, it's going to be sped up a lot. I'm going to show you guys how to actually find this Pokemon once it, everything's activated. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for the donations and everything, for the views, for being patient as always. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Fire Red walkthrough. See you guys.